What's up, cannonballs? What's up, cannonballs? We're back for another one. And on this one's going to be very, very short. You know, I'm finna get ready to watch Spiller Boy TV. You know, his review, his review on uh, Candy and the Gang. But, um, that's not why I'm here. <laughs> um, someone wrote underneath my my video saying, you're wrong, and about what I talked about yesterday, which was dealing with a family member of mine. But what I left out was, my family member told me, yeah, if I have I can, if I have to go to the hospital, I will take you home first, and then once I get out, I will come back and pick you up. Now I did tell this person, I will still, I, well I told him that, that in that time, even though I told him no, if, you know well even though I told him what I said that I did not want to go. Well no, I, did, I told no I told him I did not want to be at the, be around all those people, but. You know, I did change. I changed my mind because I seen how his facial expressions was looking kind of crazy. So I said, you know what? I knock it out. I knock it on out. Knock the little thought out, and still I go. But for the person to be right on the video, I'm telling that I would never, you know, you know, do that to my family. Well, that's not. That's your family. I'm just talking about mine. So, and I, I'm, I know how to um, deal with certain situations when it comes when it comes to certain people that's in my family. It's not. It's not like I'm. I'm gonna. I'm, it's not like I'm going to abandon them, abandon it, abandon them. You know, in time of need. But I also was. I also had options that day, in that time. But I gotta go. And um, I'm gonna talk with you guys later on. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon. And um, I'll talk to you later on, you guys. I gotta go. Peace, you guys. It's time for me to go. Oh. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it was just somebody just coming up, and I that I know I, I can't let them know all in my I can't. Oh, I don't want them all in my business. <clears throat> but yeah, <clears throat> if you know, if anybody ever needed me to sit up there at a hospital at this time, I would do it. Even though I just will be very, very cautious because you know I haven't been sick. I haven't been sick, and I don't want to sound like I'm just leaving my loved ones. You know, just throwing them out there on somebody else, and I and I'm wiping my hands with them. No, but you know, people don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Hold on, I'm losing my breath. Hold on. But yeah, people don't know. Um, people don't know what goes on behind the scenes. And what has been said to, you know, on both parties, on my end and their end, you know. And then, you know, I left a lot of things out, you know. Being put on the spot about something that is so personal, about personal, I would say about really personal things that, that's about yourself, you kind of don't really want to hear it, you know. You kind of you kind of really don't, really don't want to hear it. And... I'm at a place in my life where I just don't want to talk about the same old, same old. I feel like that's redundant to me, you know. If we have, if we have already covered that, why are we still talking about that? I understand your views on that. You don't have to keep on trying to get it through my 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 thick skull on how you feel about, you know, sexuality or, you know, um, financial stuff, you know. I understand people have been here a lot longer than I have. Ain't a lot more than I do, but let me figure it out. Let me make, maybe, you know, I don't want to make, I don't want to have any hiccups, but I'm going to have some, excuse me. I'm going to have some hiccups, you know, that's just life. It's just life. But, you know, I just can't wait till I get to the day where people will learn how to just mind their business and stop being so concerned about your business, you know? Cause it's just like an ongoing thing. I know a D from a from a joke, and that's something that I have always dealt with, you know, while being kind of like semi, you know, just growing up, you know, around people. I have always heard the little the little the little laughters or the little side notes. Well, the, really the side jokes. Well, really no, they weren't even jokes. They was really this, the little side this is, you know. And I just like kind of ignored it because I don't really I feel I don't feel the need that I have to address it. But you know what? At the same time, for me, 
I will stay away from I will stay away from, away from around you. You know, you would you won't you, you won't be in my face trying to be funny and Mr. Comedian because I, I don't do that with people. I don't try to be Mr. Comedian or Mr. Funny Man because I ain't that damn funny. But I'm just saying I don't do that. I don't do people. I don't do I don't do people like that. And I feel like it has always been an ongoing thing with me. I don't know why it's like that, but it's always been an ongoing thing. It's just like, will it ever end? Will it ever end? But if it don't, I'm still going to live my life the way I'm living it, you know? I'm still going to live my life. But um, what else did I want to talk about? What else? What else? What else? What else? Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, I know. This is going to be the, the perfect one because it's 11.58. It's perfect. And this was just going to be really about um, toxic relationships and how far are you willing to go to be in a toxic relationship. And this is just my best advice to people that's going through those type of things because I know you, it may not be so easy to get out because you may not have, you know, a place to stay or family around. But you always can go other places like a shelter, you know. And I feel like when people have, when people go to those type of toxic relationships, you know, they can they can, they, can, they can come to a friend like me and talk to me about them. But as a friend, it's only so much that I can you know say and tell you because I know that you're still gonna make the same the same decisions, but. It's still coming back to me complaining about it. It's like, damn, well, you can't blame nobody but yourself because you are going through these things. You are choosing to be with this person that you want to get away from around. But since you are in the place in the place where you are at, you can't really afford to do that because you'll just be, you know, kind of asked out. But is it really worth being stressed out, mad, angry, want to do something crazy? I don't think it is. You know, I would never be in a type of relationship where I feel like I have to just shut up or can't express how I feel, you know, I'm not going to go back and forth with people, which I never really had, well, I'm not, I'm, well, with my, with the, with the person that I'm dealing with, we're not going to have this, I'm going to fight on you and then we're going to make up and then we're going to go out to eat and then we're going to have another fight and then we're going to try to come back home and make love, like, no, that's not, that's not, that's something that is just, for me, it's like a deal breaker. You know, the majority of the time when I when I have met so many people, 